Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you that have never been here before and just stumbled on here. My name is Joe and I do a lot of seasonal decorating and stuff around the house and my wife does some cooking and we do some shopping and talking and stuff like that. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, won't you please subscribe to my channel and put on that notification bell so you don't miss anything that we're up to. So today I'm going to be, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, continuing in my Easter series. And you can see behind me, I just put this video up um, yesterday on how I did my mantle. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a whimsical scene uh, down here along the bottom of the fireplace and on each side. So today I thought I'd share with you a little bit on how I'm going to make some whimsical carrots. Now I'm all about you know trying to cut corners uh, uh, especially with spending. I don't like to spend a lot of money on this kind of stuff. So I try to recycle things that I have and or I try to make something uh, that you know I have pictured in my brain. So uh, today, like I said, we're going to be making these whimsical carrots that are going to be included in my scene down here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that Okay, so what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need some newspaper, um, some scotch tape, a glue gun, a pair of scissors, um, and some yarn. Okay, so um, I went to uh, Walmart today and I got some yarn and this was like two forty eight. dollars and there is more on here than I thought. Uh, so I bought three of them and it looks like I'm probably gonna be bringing two of them back because um, I, I don't need them. But I, I figured let me get them just in case because I wasn't sure uh, how that was gonna be. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna need some regular newspaper like this. And the way I did it, I'm sure there's other people that do this and I'm sure there's a million ways to do it, but you know everybody does things their own way. So I just take a piece of paper and I kind of just start to crumble it like this. And what I'll do is I begin shaping a carrot shape out of the newspaper. And then what I'll do is I'll take scotch tape and I just wrap it around there so that it doesn't make a big mess. So what happens is, here's an example of one that I finished already. So you see I have like, it's fatter on the top and um, obviously more carrot shape on the bottom. Um, so what you want to do then is the, the top is the most difficult part that I'm finding to wrap. So the way I basically start is I just put a bead of the glue across the top like this and then I take the, uh, this wool right here and I'm going to lay it in this, in that strip that I made just to hold it on, all right? So I'm going to hold that on there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin wrapping, wrapping like this, okay? And then every once in a while what I'll do is I will put another dab of glue just to make sure it holds. And I like to go all the way down to the bottom like this so that I have, you know, the shape that I want on my carrot. So I'm going to wrap all the way down to the bottom like this and then we're going to come back to the top again here and I am going to begin working on this, the top part. I just got the glue stuck to my hand, the carrot was stuck to my hand. Okay, so I'm back up at the top like this now and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to begin working the top. See what I'm doing? I'm going on angles like this and then I come around the other way. I'm gonna go on an angle like this and then every once in a while I come back this way. Like I said, if you're a crafty person, I'm sure you, you're you gonna have a better way of doing it than I'm doing it, but I'm just showing for those like me who you know uh, struggle with the crafty kind of stuff, uh, it does work and it's giving me the desired look of the carrot that I want. All right, let me finish wrapping this. Okay, and I'll so show you that here like is it. the carrot, right? It kind of uh, it looks a little bit more like a, a parsnip, right? But it's a carrot, and I wanted some of them to be big, and I wanted some of them to be small. I made you know different sizes of them like this. Now, as you can see close up, what what happened is that 
I did miss some of the spots like this, so you can see the newspaper in there. But I'm going to go in there with some darker orange paint, because think of how a carrot looks. It has those, you know, those darker lines in there. So I'm going to add in here, and I'm going to cover up these spots with some orange paint. Okay, so That's I'm going to use next. this paint right here. It's called Orange Spice, and it's just a little bit darker than the... Um, than the orange that I need, right? That I mean that the uh, wool is made out of. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some of my paint and I'm just gonna go in there and paint those spots that are opened up so that it'll kind of just look like the dent that's in the carrot, okay? So you gotta get in there. And I'm gonna continue doing that down the entire Okay, cap. so you can see what I did here is I did the lines with the, uh, the spice orange paint here. And the next thing I did was I uh, took my scissor and I made a hole in the top. And then I have these like little grass stems here uh, from the Dollar Tree. I, I cut it apart and I'm just sticking these in here like this. Now don't put hot glue on these because I found out as soon as these get hot glue on it, they pass out, They'll, they detach from what's left. But what I wanna do is around the outside over here, uh, I'm gonna stay away from those stems, I'm gonna put a little hot glue, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the reindeer moss that you can also get in the Dollar Tree and just you know enhance the top of this a little bit like this, okay? So I'll show you. Okay, uh, and there product. is my carrots. I have them in a basket right now. This is not how I'm going to present them, but uh, I just have them like this so you could see them. So, I mean, not bad for newspaper and some yarn and a little bit of this greenery. Okay, uh, next thing. Okay, so in addition uh, there, uh, I'm going to make these two giant carrots, and I'm going to use this glass cylinder right here because I have these really long bunnies. I mean, they're really long. So I want to use them uh, alongside this giant carrot that I'm going to make. So I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to use the yarn and I'm just going to wrap this thing with the yarn. And then up on the top, I'll make a ball to stick on the top, uh, you know, so that it'll look like the top of the carrot and then some greenery up on the top. So <clears throat> I'm going to get started with that and I'll show okay, you. So I wrapped it and wow, was that a pain in the arm? <laughs> to do that. That took a little bit of time and I still have one more to go, but you can see I wrapped it. I started at the bottom and every here and there I put a little bit of glue and then up at the top I actually made a ball of newspaper and then I wrapped the yarn around it and I put that in the top and then I added in those, uh, you know, that grassy stuff on the top and then a little bit of moss to hide the mistakes up at the top and then some of these, uh, you know, the brown, the uh, spice orange lines in here to make it look more like a carrot. Now I have to go upstairs in the attic and get one of those big long bunnies and I'm gonna make him look like okay, this. Okay, so these are the longest bunnies in the world. Take a look at this. I don't know, they more look like half worm and, uh, and bunny, but they were from the dollar zone and we got these a while ago, right? A long time. And we have some boys and we have some girls with a skirt on here. And what I was wanted to do is because they're so long, you know, I was thinking about actually, you know, chopping off their legs and then re-sewing them and everything else. But I'm not doing that because I don't want to do it. I don't have time to do that. Uh, so I, I just want to try to ha somehow manipulate him on this giant carrot to make him look like he's hugging it. But I'm going to probably do that off camera because it's probably going to take Okay, a so I have one of them done. I have one more of these to do. And this is going to go into that whimsical scene that I said I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, uh, around the fireplace. So it's a giant carrot. And I have this long, skinny rabbit here holding on to the carrot. And um, I have to do another one. And then I have a Miss Carrot. Uh, <laughs> Ms. Carrot, I guess, uh, for that side. All right, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, thanks for stopping by. And I'll be seeing you really soon. So look for another video coming up shortly. Okay, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.